What's going on everybody and today I wanted to do something a little bit different. See recently I've been playing a lot of uh, Plants vs Zombies just kind of on the side and I've come across one mini game that I feel gives a little bit of trouble because um, it requires a little strategy going into it but I wanted to play this one Last Stand uh, for you guys and the purpose of last stand is uh, you get the pool level and you get all of these different types of zombies that are going to be coming at you in waves and the only way that you can defend against them is by having 5,000 sun worth of uh, different plants on your side so this strategy uh, can come in different forms but honestly like there's a couple of different ones that I kind of wanted to try today. So the first one is actually a pretty simple one. Uh, if you have played through the story enough, you would have gather gathered all of the different plants that you might need for this specific strategy. Uh, however, I will say for a fact that uh, based on the RNG of when uh, certain zombies kind of come in to the frame, it might lead to um, you possibly still getting uh, rolled uh, over, but uh, at the very least, you can at, you can at least try uh, this uh, strategy, see if it works for you. And hell, I'm gonna look. I'm going to try it out for myself too. So this one requires the three Peter. The three Peter is a good one to get a really good uh, spread out into um to face off against the zombies uh you're gonna need lily pads of course this is a uh pool level and also um i'm gonna be grabbing um where is it uh torchwoods uh to make the p uh projectiles uh more powerful and um i'm gonna be grabbing tall nuts um Tall nuts and pumpkins. Uh, tall nuts are I'm going to be placing on the two uh, in the pool to so combat the uh, dolphin zombies, which are just really quick. And pumpkins because extra level of defense. Um, after this, it's just uh, whatever you kind of want. Uh, I think that I'm going to grab I'll grab a coffee bean and a foam shroom. Uh, to deal with these uh, screen door zombies. Uh, I don't know if I'll need them so much. I'm also going to be grabbing a tangled kelp and I'll grab a squash just in case. So that's going to be my lineup. And yeah, let's see how this uh, ends up um, lasting. So yeah, so first off, I'm going to make <coughs> a couple of lines of three Peters. These are my main source of uh, offense in this level. And now I'm going to make a couple of different torchwoods and put tall nuts here to combat those uh, dolphin zombies. Now that took out all of my sun. So we'll start the onslaught. And after every different round, I am going to get some um, more uh, sun so that I could put down um, my pumpkins plus make any other modifications to the uh, strategy as I see fit or maybe even just keep my uh, sun on hand just in case if I need uh, need it for these insta kill things but look at how quickly even like the metal bucket head zombies are dying like these zombies just die really quickly. It's just at the later levels when it gets a little bit more hectic, just makes things a little bit harder. Grab some of that silver. They just get decimated so quickly with this strategy, and it's so easy to get to this point just by clearing the story mode. You don't need to collect a bunch of gold just to uh, um, 
get access to certain things from um, Crazy Dave. But yeah, the weakness of the strategy just definitely kind of shows up like right here where uh, just a bunch of zombies kind of came in on one lane all at once. Now, the thing is, is that um, the tall nuts will take a lot of uh, will take a lot of damage and will block those dolphin zombies. So I'm not too worried there. What I am worried about are the torchwoods. The torchwoods don't take as much damage as um, the uh, others do. So I'm that's why I bring along the pumpkins to give them a little bit more defense. Of course, I have to l wait another whole wave to be able to uh, put pumpkins on the rest of them. Now, the other weakness of the strategy is specifically in the pool area, since I put tall nits there to combat those dolphin zombies. I am not doing as much damage to the uh, different zombies in the that's going into the pool as... Um, all the other zombies that are coming in through the side lanes. And the trade-off is this, that there's less special zombies that kind of come in to the pool area than there would be in the uh, normal lawn area. But yeah, I'm still... It's still really handling these uh, zombies. It's still really handling the zombies quite easily. And I think part of it is just this is kind of one of the uh, lower levels still. And yeah, these uh, football zombies really do kind of charge a path forward for the other zombies over time. And if there's like a football zombie followed by like a buckethead zombie followed by any other types of zombies that have defense like yeah it just it really does depend on RNG at points and yeah Getting some nice gold. But this is definitely one of the simpler strategies that I have found to uh, try to do your best in Last Stand. There are some weaknesses to the strategy, like I said. The, uh, I mean, like that... Uh, football zombie got, got halfway to the uh, Torchwoods, but even if they were stopped by the Torchwood uh, pumpkin thing, it they would still get through a little bit of the health of the pumpkin. Um, yeah, see, look out how close this guy is getting. Yeah, see, so he got through the offense, but yeah, he still died at the end, but he still paved the way of, for the other uh, zombies to get closer. And because the next one of the next ones was a very tankyish uh, zombie, um, it definitely uh, it definitely did lead um, to uh, a little bit of uh, um, a path being cleared for them. sun so the question now becomes what else do i want to put down to help with the onslaught and um i'm kind of thinking fume shrooms so i need to wake them up so that's a lot that i have to uh invest right there and uh because i can't really do much else i'm thinking maybe i'll put down some tangle kelps um, 
And then uh, the next flag that I get, I'm probably going to put a fume shroom on the opposite side. Just to help out with those screen door zombies. It's not perfect, and if, and if like I said, any of them kind of get past uh, with their defenses, um, my fume shroom is basically just dead. <laughs> put the Tangle Kelp so far back, though, just because I didn't want them insta-killing any of the zombies up front, which looks like it, they're gonna grab this Buckethead zombie. So. Oh, well. Didn't really want them to grab that one, but... Gotta see that uh, football zombie got passed, so now he got a little bit of damage in on my Fume Shroom. The fume stream kind of helps out with that screen door zombie, but also it starts damaging the ones behind it. So that that's what really helps out about the fume stream. There's two football zombies coming in on the top, so that's a lot of damage just coming in. And admittedly, yeah, see, the fume shroom's gone now. Admittedly, uh, the ones up top and the ones at the bottom do the least amount of damage. There's more damage being done in the middle areas than in the uh, uh, top, mo topmost and bottommost lanes. Alright, so let's put a fume shroom down here. And, oh, I can wake up another Fume Shroom with what I have left. So I'm going to continue the Onslaught. So, yeah, I want to put it in the topmost and the bottommost lanes just because uh, those also just need more help with in terms of just damage. Because, like I said, the uh, middle four are doing the most amount of damage. And the top and bottom ones are not doing as much damage as they really should. Extra money for me. <clears throat> yeah, it's these football zombies that are really pushing the hardest out of all of the different zombies. And having them come one after another after another just really didn't help out as, as much as I really hoped it would. Oh, and they did enough tanky get got through and tanked enough damage to get through. Oh, and this is something that I'm worried about. If they don't take care of the um of this guy, yeah, after he jumps, he could start decimating my offense. So much metal clanking noises. Well, yay! We made it all the way through and five flags completed with this strategy. Alrighty. So, uh, next up, I wanted to go um, do the strategy with a little bit more of the advanced strategy. Alright, now we're back with a little bit more of a, uh, let's say advanced strategy. Um, and I only say advanced just because of the fact that the uh, stuff that you would need for this specific strategy is a little bit more of the endgame content. Um, you can unlock some of these by playing through the story mode, but you definitely will need to uh, take some time 
uh, build up your gold through all these other mini games, puzzles, maybe even the Zen Garden to be able to uh, do this specific strategy with. So in this one, I wanted to use melons. Melons are good just because uh, they're a good offensive tool for AoE damage. But specifically for this strategy, I want to use winter melons. Winter melons are just basically the same as uh, normal melons, but they do ice damage and slow zombies as well. And because it's an AoE damage, they slow groups of zombies. So that's our, gonna be our uh, main strategy here. We're gonna grab lily pads because it's a pool level, but I'm also gonna grab cattails to put down on the lily pads. They're just gonna do damage. Um, that's their primary focus here, uh, not uh, anything else because the other thing that they do is shoots down balloon zombies. There's no balloon zombies in this level. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and grab, where is it? Coffee beans and fume shrooms again, just to deal with the screen uh, door zombies. And um, what else? Do, 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 do. This is kind of where it gets to be like, you, you could grab kind of just anything that you really need at, at this point. Um, so I think that I'm just going to grab Tangle Kelp and uh, let's grab pumpkins just in case and squash. All right, so there we go. This is going to be our strategy. Uh, we're going to put melons all across the back line here. This is going to be our primary uh, offense. Going to turn them into winter melons. That way, all of the zombies coming are now going to be um, slowed. So let's throw down... Um, see i'm gonna create these into cattails and put down even more melons so now we're only at 250 gold not a lot uh of gold left over um not a lot of gold left over so uh i could make even more winter melon uh one more winter melon i should say uh and i think that's exactly what i'll do but that's just about it for our gold. There's uh, some more that I could make. Um, I could make more lily pads, squash, tangle kelp. But I think I'm going to hold off on that. And um, and uh, just start the full onslaught. So yeah, all the damage coming in. And they're just super slow. Yeah, making them all slow is definitely the big strategy here. I do not want them getting any closer than this. And, yeah. And having that combo of the cattails also, just for a little extra damage all around, really, really does help. And all these winter melons, all the slows help out all of these uh, faster zombies, like the uh, jet, the um, pole vault zombie and the uh, football zombie from getting any closer than they really are. So that's why there isn't a lot of defense going up on this um, strategy. And oh, hey, look at that. There's a uh, dolphin zombie. <coughs> Didn't get one of those last time around, which I'm kind of surprised about. And look how close that dolphin zombie got be just because he's just so quick. Like, that's the thing that um, you're just always going to be worried about are just the really quick zombies. Alrighty, there we go. So now I'm going to put down another winter melon and I only have 100 sun left. Um... I can't really do anything more than this, so I'm going to have to just continue the onslaught. But now I have at least a little bit more slow area, and, I'll, yeah, and that'll help out if there's any more just really quick zombies at the bottom or in the pool.
you know, seeing those football zombies slow, it just... Uh, I appreciate that so much. They're a pain in the patoot in this specific uh, game mode. <laughs> they're so tanky and they're so quick. two dolphins. But they didn't even make it close. This is, that's, those are why I had the tall nuts in the previous strategy. Not only did the tall nuts just add an extra layer of defense, they just block the dolphin zombies altogether and then they'll just die very quickly. Alrighty, so that's two flags done. We have another 350 sun. So I think this is a good opportunity to make some more cattails. Uh, I feel like we have a good slow strategy right now with all the winter melons that I do have right now. Uh, we could just use a little bit more damage and that's why I'm putting out another cattail. Um, I would like to get fume shrooms out, but Honestly, I'm just looking at it like I, I need the uh, damage and getting through the screen door zombies right now are not really an issue so much. Especially with how much that they're just being slowed altogether. But look at all that damage going out. Keeping them so far back at bay is just really awesome to have. still just dealing as much damage as uh, we are doing right now. And that quarterback zombie didn't know what hit him. Zombies just in the back just can't stand all the AOE damage. Oh, and this uh, football zombie is getting really close. Look at all that onslaught of different stuff going into that one zombie. All right, let's put down another cattail. I noticed that we needed a lot more damage, especially since that football zombie was getting uh, closer. And that's three flags completed. And I, I see that there's still groups of zombies coming in, but there's also groups of zombies dying, too, so... They aren't getting through very quickly. Oh, look at all those buckethead zombies.
still a lot of zombies on the screen, but they're not getting through very quickly. Oh, more dolphin zombies. And a couple of jack-in-the-box zombies. A couple, or just one? And that jack-in-the-box zombie didn't even make it close. There's that football zombie. I was worried about that guy. Alright, so now all these cattails cannot really be doing this on their own. So this is when I'm going to start putting down some fume shrooms. And I'm waking them up. So now we're doing a lot more damage on the sides. Um, I'm not too worried about these uh, middle areas just because of the fact that the cattails are still really throwing out stuff in there, but definitely the sides could use a little bit of help just so that the cattails aren't doing all, all of it themselves. So this is the last flag that we need to achieve in this. Starting off with some really huge groups of zombies. Nothing has made it close enough for the fume shrooms to start going off yet, though. <coughs> and the good thing about the fume shrooms is that uh, they would help uh, take care of the of groups of zombies too, just like the melons are. So they're not really just there for the screen door zombies, even though they really do help out. It's, they'll get all the zombies uh, behind that uh, screen door zombie as well, or any other zombies. Still just a little worried about the uh, football zombies, but I'm seeing them being taken care of still. And look at that, some screen door zombies on the outside. Let's go. More Jack in the Box zombies, huh? Oh, there's two. I don't think they'll make it close at all. Yep. Making it to the end. Just a couple more zombies to take care of, and that's it. All the zombies have been taken care of. So there's just a couple of different strategies for this last stand uh, mini game. It's a little bit of, of a troublesome little mini game, but I feel like with either of those strategies or any other that you might have, if you do have any other strategy, um, that you think would work, please let me know down in the comments. And if you like this video and like these different types of games that I've been playing other than all the other stuff, uh, please let me know. Uh, thank you for watching, and yeah, I'll see you next time. Bye!